Hey, Alexandra. Hey, Nick. Here at ADC. Last time we spoke was when we did a sort of big uh, sort of conference call when CLAP was first announced, which is a, a kind of the idea being a sort of overseeing plugin technology that allowed um, plugins to communicate and yeah. uh, send data to each other. And that was probably what, two years ago? Two years ago, I think, yes. So what's been going on? How's, how's things going? So a lot has happened so far. We First, the, the standard is much more mature now. Yeah. So before we had a set of extensions, because the CLAP works with a, a, core of, a core set of extensions, you can bring new functionality over time. And we had like a small set to begin with, and we extended that set, and now we have like a, almost everything we need. And the new things we are thinking to improve the standards are like little things that makes it even better. But I can say that today it's it's done, it's stable, and it's in a very good shape. The um, adoption went great because now we have Bitwig, FL Studio, Reaper, Studio One that is using uh, Clap inside our own telemetry in Bitwig Studio. We've seen that. One year ago, and today we compared the usage of Clap. We've seen a plus 500 percent usage, so we are on a great. Uh, the curve is well. Yeah, the, I mean, it would be great. high because nobody used it before then. But I suppose, but but so how? Do, I mean, I guess the thing that's really interesting about this is, I mean, developing a new standard. Everybody's crying out for it, but it's it's so, it takes so much time, doesn't it? There's so many things to think about, right? To, yeah, to make it work. It, it's really difficult. Um, it's, it's something that was started uh, many, many years ago. So sometimes you have an idea and it takes 10 years to, to realize. Yeah. Clap is something like that. The first commit in the repository was in 2014. So it's a project that took uh, a lot of time. And I think Clap is successful because um, it's, it's a good, it has a good uh, technical foundation. Yeah. And uh, there was Bitwig and UE behind it. So it's two companies that are like serious company. So it's not just a random open source project. It's something sure, yeah. uh, that has uh, some uh, industry. Um, and um, also we have a v an amazing community. We had a lot of contributors from the community review and, and it's really a good project. So I suppose it, if I was a plugin developer, yes. I would be saying, how easy is it for me to port my stuff to the CLAP format or to integrate CLAP into my, work, so, my existing technology? Yeah, it depends what you have been using so far. Some people have been using Juice and they could port their plugin within a day or maybe even less. So if you, if you have been using Juice, it's easy. Then it also depends uh, how much you want to do because with CLAP, we, has a, we have a lot of new technology. We have, uh, we have modulations polyphonic modulations, and often those are things that are not already uh, present in the plugins. So they need to rethink how they are uh, right. doing their internal architecture. Because so they may not have actually thought about using that in the original sound. Yeah. It didn't exist before. So they, they need to, to think uh, and to, to redesign certain things. But at the same time, it's what the future will be. So you have to go in that direction. In uh, interesting. Way. I suppose we should just say what Juice is. Juice is a, a plugin or is this audio coding development platform that a lot of plugin users, uh, a lot of plugin uh, developers use to, yes. to build their stuff, right? So I've just mentioned that, I suppose, if people don't know. So what's next? I mean, I guess the, the proof is in how many plugins. Is, uh, have you seen a release schedule of stuff that's coming? Is there more plugins coming quickly? Oh, down yeah, the definitely. The, the latest big one was FabFilter, adopting uh, Clap. Right. Why? Because uh, I think they like the API, they like the idea of Clap because it's... Uh, it's open source, it's, the licensing is, is, uh, is free, it's MIT, and they, they wanted to support this idea, and they, they pushed for it, and I think they are pretty happy with the, with the results. Um, I, mean, uh, I mean, one of the main things is, is I suppose, sort of non-MIDI CC tied control mechanisms. That means you've got high resolution control, you've got yes, all we, sorts of stuff we, that you we can have, use. We have high resolution controls. We have a lot of uh, very interesting, like uh, new technology, just like the polyphonic modulation, the thread pool. UE is uh, the published very uh, interesting uh, performance gain with the thread pool. 
we have uh, we just delivered the um, undo host integration in Bitwig. So the plugin can hook themselves into the host and do it something that was never done before. We, we have lots of uh, new technologies, but all those new technology, you don't get the benefit right away. It's no, something of course. that takes time for, for the plugin to develop, for the host to develop, and it's an investment. So th th there is a, a vision with CLAP, and many adopters, many early adopters of CLAP, they, they were in line with this vision and they invested into this vision. I think it's, it's essentially what happened. So I suppose the next big steps for you is, is to get it adopted across all DAWs. That's the sort of the golden yeah, standard, I guess, right? Like this adoption thing at the very beginning, I, it was a question for, for many people, are, is club going to be adopted and so on? But today, for me, it's not something uh, I question about because it's happening, like it's, uh, it's already happening and it's very strong. Like the adoption rate is high and um, I'm more thinking, uh, but I'm a developer also, but yeah. I'm more thinking about the next uh, ideas, the next extension, like being here, I can discuss with other plugin developers. They, uh, they need some things, maybe we can find new solutions, browsers from the standard. Um, yeah, this is more like, uh, I'm a technical person, so. I Excellent. Mm. Well, thank you so much for talking to us, Alexander. It's been a pleasure and all the best with it. Look forward to seeing more plugins in that format soon. Yeah, yeah. And if I can just say uh, something, I think that the, the next big technical thing that could happen for plugins is uh, WebAssembly. Is it what, sorry? WebAssembly. WebAssembly, okay. Yes, right. so I think it's, it's something that can be formidable if it's done right. And I think we will done, do it right. Okay, well, that, we'll look out for that technology. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ciao, Nick.